Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mac Break Work, and I am back here with Rich Harrington. Howdy. Hey. And uh, we're back to the templates, but we're not doing templates this time. We're making the templates more updatable or mm -hmm. any document easier to update okay. by doing a media placeholder. Great. So, you know, a lot of times you dragged a picture in, you did all the formatting, right? And then we say, oh, well, this is great, but I needed to put a, a new picture in there. And, you know, I'm just going to use a stock photo. And I, I go to drag it in, and it's like, oh, it's on top. Well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. and, and you don't want to go through, you know, trying to retweak it, and especially if it's something you're going to change often. Right. right. So you could just select that picture mm -hmm. and say format advanced. Define as media placeholder with the logical keyboard shortcut of uh, Control Shnur Option dirt, Command dirt, I. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's the one I remember uh, all the time. That's pretty much all all of the above. Yes. Yeah. Now I love keyboard shortcuts that involve four fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's dexterity. Yeah. Yeah. Keyboard calisthenics. So. I guess they figured not many people were going to use it that often. I don't know why, but now that's a media placeholder. So if we drag the picture in, you see how it goes blue, and mm -hmm. you release. And it did a swap, and right. it still preserves things. And we use that a lot in motion. You know, that's yeah. something we use a lot to, to make sure that our uh, lower thirds and everything else look the same. Yeah. And so let's say we dragged another image in, you know, and we started to put this, and we went through all the work of, you know, we got it all scaled how we wanted, and that's fine. You know, there's all sorts of effects you could do. Say, oh, I like that, you know, but let's go ahead and we're just going to rotate that a bit, you know, and you just sort of were playing with it until you were happy with, you know, the overall look. Right. And you applied a border. You know, there's all sorts of things mm -hmm. you can do. So, you know, you did all that, and you said, "Great, I, I like how this looks." You know, we'll put a stroke on that. There, we'll do a little picture frame, and uh, let's just do a thicker edge. There we go. You know, got a little curve with a drop shadow. Right. You know, you say perfect, and you know, you did that, and you defined that as a media placeholder, and you said, "Great," and you go and you grab another picture and you drag it in. Well, it just changed shape. Right. It screws up the whole layout. Right. And what it did there was, is it said, oh, well, swap one picture for the other, and it preserves, it doesn't go any taller right. or wider than the original picture. And sometimes that's all, that's all you need. Right. But, but there are a lot of times when it, you really want it to be exactly where you said it was going to be. If you want this to stay a square, all you need to do is go ahead and mask the image. So we'll select it, mm -hmm. and we'll say, go ahead and mask. And I could do mask with shape even and just say, you know, do a rectangle. And you basically just have to sort of adjust it. Now, notice it's kind of interesting how it's messing up sort of the mask. Huh, that's so, interesting. Yeah, so we'll undo that real quick. And right. what we'll do is the easiest thing is to sort of put it back so it's not rotated. So you right. don't have to so worry. Start, you start it off that way. Start normal. And we'll okay. just say, you know, go ahead and mask that. We'll adjust the image. And it starts to snap. Notice it's snapping right to those edges for you. Right. So that's good. You know, I got that. I can that. barely remember the days before it snaps. Yeah. I'm so sad. Now, the trick here, so you notice I'm rotating. So the image isn't rotating mm -hmm. because we're in edit mask mode. Right. So make sure you get out of that, uh. select the image, and then you can rotate it however you want to. And this is now it's taking both the mask and the image and rotating around. Okay. Yeah, because we're not editing the mask, mm -hmm. we're editing the image. Right. So now we have that and we say, you know, go ahead and define that as a media placeholder. It still has it. So if we were to drag that picture in, notice it right. preserves the square. That's perfect. That makes a huge difference because now all that stuff you've carefully laid out, and, and what it's going to do is it's going to scale it down, right, to mm -hmm. match whatever the smallest. Yeah. And then you say, well, that's great, except it went right in the middle. Well, you just double click, and you see that little ghosted image? Right. That's the whole image. So you can sort of reposition it or right. you know, say, well, go a little tighter, and mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to see this bottom corner of the picture. And that would have been, you would have had to add that mask at some point in time if you wanted to fit it in. So you know that you want to fit that in, in there somewhere, and you can simply just move that around, and all that work's been done for you already. Yeah, and that's what I love about these things. When you combine masked images right. with media placeholders, it's a piece of cake. So right. as you're designing, we say, oh, you know, well, let's just drop in this picture of the world. Oh, I like that, but, you know, make it bigger. And uh, right. double click, and we'll just, you know, let's sort of center that inside the square. That's great. Return. Fantastic. Thanks, Rich. Sure. Where can people find more of this from you? 
Got a lot of great stuff like this in the official Apple training book on iWork, which mm -hmm. I wrote. And uh, they could just do a search for Red Pixel on the web. We got lots of resources out there. Fantastic. Sure. Thanks. And thank you for watching Mac Break Work.